Today I'd like to introduce you to my standard drink calculator web app. Uh, the reason I wrote this web app is because um, often when people come over, I give them a drink, or I go somewhere, I receive a drink, and I'm a bit apprehensive about drinking and driving. So I don't have the knowledge to make it easier and more pleasant to have a drink or two. So by writing the standard drink calculator, I'm now more prepared that I can quite easily give a drink or two or even three and know what the implication of that is in terms of blood alcohol limit. So for example, when family and friends come over, I often give them um, my favorite drink, which is a scotch and a Coke Zero. So if we look at a scotch, a standard scotch um, is about 30 mil. We don't have to worry about the glass of the Coke Zero because we're only interested in the um, alcohol content. If you, if you have a glass of wine, um, you have to know the size of the wine, and the wine typically is 12%. Um, alcohol by volume. So if we do a 30 mil shot into a glass, top it up with the um, Coke Zero or some other form of Coke or cola, um, we can then turn around and say, well, the um, alcohol percent by volume, which is clearly marked on the bottles, is 40%, um, which is also known as 80 proof. One drink, and we can then turn around and submit that, and what we see is that it's a standard um, number of drinks is in Australia is 0 0.9. It's interesting to note that a standard drink in Australia is defined as 10 grams of alcohol in a drink. In the UK it's 8, in the USA it's 14. So if you're reading literature across the internet, keep in mind they do talk about different standard drinks and they're really, they're saying that one standard drink is what your body can get rid of per hour, but it doesn't make sense because it can't be 8, 10 and 14 all being the same that your body can get rid of those different volumes. So let's work, basically we're in Australia, let's work, work with the Australian situation. So there's 9.5 grams of alcohol and um, it will take about 1.3 hours from drinking the drink uh, for that alcohol to dissipate uh, through your system. And the average hours to 0.05 is zero. You're not going to reach 0.05. So if you have one drink in the first hour, um, not a problem. You're not breaking any road rules. Um, of course, if you uh, are peep later, then you have to be zero, then it's not a good idea to drink at all. So let's make it two drinks and see what the result is. Still with two drinks, uh, we're not gonna hit 0.05. So there's no problems. Three drinks, which most of the time we never have three drinks. So a couple of drinks really means from a peace of mind point of view, nobody is going to be over 0.05. And so we have the drinks and there isn't any issue anymore. Whereas in the past, I'd be concerned, but no longer. That's the beauty of using the standard drink calculator. So if we look at three drinks, a bit more drinking of the night, it will be about half an hour um, from the point of view of starting the drinks to uh, when the alcohol has left your system. And if you've had those three drinks over two or three hours, it's not gonna be an issue. So um, if you have three shots at the end of the night, then you should consider the drinking period to start from basically when you had the three shots. Uh, so if you're interested in using the standard drink calculator, you need to know the volume of your drink, the percent alcohol, and the number of drinks, and you can determine whereabouts you will be in terms of um, where your blood alcohol content limit is. And hopefully that gives you peace of mind when you're thinking about drinking or driving or may assist you to not drive at all. Thank you very much for listening to um, the information presented on the standard drink calculator.